so finally my friends we are in this is the motherboard so we check the rams the rams are good now we are here we have to focus on graphic cards okay guys i think that the graphic card could be the problem but of course we should first do a visual inspection about the whole motherboard and look for any bad or failed damaged or burned compound so let's do it but guys first let's take some voltages here i'm going to plug the adapter and check some voltages especially 3 volt 5 volt here we have the bios check also 3 3.3 volt for the bios check cpu circuit let's take some voltages right now okay let's connect the adapter nice here guys pay attention to the fan here so let me grab my multimeter okay then select so guys let's do it let's pass it directly to the bios i like always check the bios why because without the bios nothing will happen so this is the pin number one so guys we have as you can see 3.3 good 3.3 is here okay nice so let's check the cpu circuit here basically we have three channels for cpu circuit 1.1 nice 1.1 1.1 amazing so the voltage is good this is the vc cycle nice my friends this one 1.1 okay 1.1 this is for the north bridge nice the north bridge here and the graphic cards nicely done so let's check these two inductors here of 3.3 volt this one 1.5 volt this is for the ram nice this is for the ram do you see guys i have ddr3 1.5 volt this is for the ram okay let's check this one here basically this is for the battery i have to find nothing here so here we have 3.3 volts what about 5 volts when is 5 volts okay 3.3 volt is here this one this is for the ram nice we need another inductor so here let's check here 19 volt in the side okay let's check this mosfet 19 volt in this side we have okay we need 5 volt my friends 1.05 this is VCCP basically, VCCP, nice. This one here, 0 0.9, okay. Okay, I should look to the other side. I should look to the other side, my friends. <clears throat> so guys, please pay attention. The most voltages that you have to check in the motherboard is the first basically guys or always go to the bios and check what check the pin number eight you have to find three po three point three volts Dear my friends the ram so here always locate the coil next to the ram this one here we have 1.5 volt means what means this is the ddr3 here we have 1.5 volt as you can see and over here here of course we have 1.5 volt ddr3 okay here we have 3.3 volts okay here we have basically this is the cpu or the vc called 1.1 volt 1.1 volt 1.1 volt three channels for the north bridge we have 1.03 for the graphic card 1.01 nicely done my friends amazing so the voltages are good in this motherboard so this motherboard should should work if not we have to check it could be the problem for this motherboard my friend could be with the graphic card i should head up to graphic the graphic card about 90 percent i thought that the problem is in the graphic card so let's do it once we have all voltages are good we have to check the graphic card my friends 
guys i will unscrew all these screws here to get to the motherboard and check the other side okay so let's do it okay let's begin from where from here okay my friends this is amazing okay now all is good okay we have the motherboard this is basically the nap or the connector for the the screen or the lcd this is it of course we have to take a look but it seems to be good also the circuit okay the lcd circuit or the screen circuit should be checked we have to check it basically okay this is the fan connector guys this laptop is usually uh, repaired by someone do you see here do you see my friend I find this disc here under this heatsink. You see, my friend, this screw is under this part here. Normally, it should be here above. Means this laptop is already disassembled by someone. Let's find out. Means uh, he doesn't repair it. He he finds something that is not easy here to repair but let's repair together okay nice so let me remove the remove the head sink okay guys okay remove the head sink nice Okay, the head sink is removed. Okay, my friends. Good. Nice. This one, this is the graphic card. This is the graphic card. Here are the CPU. Here we have basically the notebook. So this is the graphic card. My friends, the problem should be here. I guess, I thought the problem will be here. But first, once we find that this laptop is already uh, troubleshooted by a technician a repair technician we have to make a visual inspection check all circuits components and then troubleshoot where is the problem exactly so let's do it my friends okay so let's remove the motherboard guys we have to make a visual inspection especially for the graphical circuit, the screen or LC circuit. So guys, let's make a visual inspection. Okay, begin from here. Yes, yes, as I told you guys. Do you see, we have a little bit flux here we have flux here means this graphic card is already heated up by a technician someone is already heated up but with no results let's do it here in electronic repair basics we can repair it always we are here we use we are smart in this channel together me and my team and my followers we can repair any laptop okay let's check it out everything here is good nice because the voltages are good everything is good do 3.3 volt reach the bios we change the ram we change everything is good means the problem with the graphic cards and of course I, do, I forget 
to tell you that I try uh, I connect the motherboard with an extern or exterior uh, monitor with the same problem no data in the, the problem with the graphic card guys let's hit up the graphic card and recheck again i hope that we can fix the problem so let's do it so by the way guys also the lcd circuit should be checked always with this problem it could be graphic card it will it could be the cpu circuit or the lcd circuit always should be checked all component and of course in both sides in both sides here okay this diode is good so everything is serviceable is good here okay let's hit up the graphic card and see the result my friends let's do it no problem as i told you the, the laptop is already repaired but we can do it together let's do it my friend so let's get started nice let's wait a little bit okay we're gonna find okay nice now it's cold down a little bit okay amazing so guys let's go to the motherboard back and check it out okay nice okay the power button here Okay, everything is here nicely done okay so let's connect first do screen connector okay my friend so the screen connector is connected smoothly nice this okay let's connect here this one because the DC jack is in the side so we have to connect it okay nice we have to put one screw here good okay put the heat sink back of course guys I didn't apply do thermal after i will do it after just now to check i will just check the motherboard and and of course after we will add a thermal paste okay let's find out good put the heatsink back or the fan i mean the fan connector guys just we put back the most important part for okay. ram nice okay let me adjust this one. Oh yes yes i know no problem 
just put it like this after I will adjust everything. Okay, this is it, guys. We put the heat sink to fan just to, to see the fan. We put the RAM. Here we have the DC jack good. We have the connector for the, the screen. This is it, my friends. Let's connect the adapter and find out right now. Okay, we have something else that we have to connect is my friend this one do on off button let me figure out where is it okay okay nice on off button is already here uh, integrated with with the motherboard so i should put one, one screw here okay guys i will put one screw here because the on off button is the other side okay so let's put just one screw here okay so now let's connect the adapter and find out here is the adapter let's connect the adapter good and let's check if we have something in the screen or not okay okay nice nice touch Okay, let's press the on off button. Okay, maybe. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry. I should connect this one. Guys, I should connect this one because the power jack basically is connected with this connector, not with the daughter board, with this one. Okay, nice. Now, let me connect the adapter. Okay, let me do like this for those. Now the adapter is on. Good. Okay, let me press the power button. Let's switch off the light. Like this, guys. The power button is on. Those LEDs also are on. Let's find out. Nothing. Guys the same the same issue no data in the screen so the laptop keeps on off on and off like this so guys let's find out let's check this inductor for any short circuit okay let's find out find out guys so the multimeter in the continuity option okay let me check okay guys the black probe here in the ground or the negative terminal in the ground let's check it out this circuit especially circuit for graphic card let's check this one we have eight eight good it's not a short good it's not a short let's check it out the processor circuit okay it's not a short not a short no short okay this side basically let's check this capacitor nice okay nice here no short let's check the this one the rough circuit no short here no short this one 90 no short no short guys there is no short my friends here no short okay the real short is this one in the multimeter zero like this okay so no short 